Welcome to Web Harvey tutorial series. In this video, we will see how Web Harvey can be configured to extract search results data for a list of keywords. The first step is to load the page displaying the search form. And then, to submit multiple keywords to a search box, click on the search box and then click on the input a list of keywords option from under actions tab. Webhavi will display a window where you can enter multiple keywords to be submitted. You can type or copy paste keywords in a one per line or CSV which is comma separated format. There is also an option to import keywords from a file which has keywords in similar format. For this example, let's type in three keywords in separate lines. Note that if you need to include commas in keywords, then they should be enclosed within quotation marks. Once you have entered the keywords, click on the OK button. You can see that WebHarvey has automatically filled in the first keyword in the search box. Make sure that you do not change this. If for some reason the first keyword is not automatically filled in by WebHarvey, you should manually type or copy paste the first keyword. WebHarvey supports keywords to be automatically submitted to multiple input fields of a search box. So we can submit a list of locations to be searched for in addition to the list of search terms which we already configured. For this, click on the location box and as we did before, click on the input a list of keywords from under actions tab. In the resulting keywords window, type in the locations for which we need to perform search. Click on the OK button and as before, WebHavi will automatically fill in the first location in the search box. We have configured both input fields of the search form with multiple keywords. And during mining, WebHavi will extract search results for each combination of search term and location. So it will get plumber details from London, Cambridge, Yorkshire and then proceed with extracting doctor details from the same three locations. Now, if there are any additional inputs to be provided in the search form, like selecting drop downs or ticking checkboxes, then they can be done manually. And after that, you should click on the search button to load the first set of search results. Once the search results are displayed, you can start the configuration process by clicking the start configuration button. The steps to be followed from here are as explained in the previous videos. You can select required data, select pagination and also follow links to get more data. Let's select a few details from this page. To keep the configuration simple, we are not following links or selecting the next page link. If we now go to the configuration tab and click on keywords, we can see the keywords which we have already set for this configuration. As you can see, there are two lists of keywords, one for search term and the other for locations. You can edit both these lists here. You can add or remove keywords from this list. Now let's stop the configuration process. If you go to WebHavi settings and open category keyword tab, you can see this option called tag with category keyword. If you select this option and provide a column name, then during mining, WebHavi will add an additional column in the data table filled with the keywords corresponding to each row of data. Now let's start mining. WebHavi will start with extracting data for the first set of keywords which we provided 
and then it will proceed with all combinations of input keywords. You can also see the keyword column which has been added filled with the keywords used to get each row. You can see that after getting plumber's details from all the three locations, Webhavi has now proceeded with extracting doctor's details for the same three locations. We hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, you can contact our technical support team whose link will be in the description below. Thank you.